Hey, it's Miko from Emon Sound Lab, and today I want to talk about the importance of rich saddles in your guitar. Okay, so likely the most common modifications that you see people doing on Telecasters is to replace these kinds of saddles with these kinds of saddles. Now, obviously, these are the traditional, original kind of rich saddles that you get. These ones that I'm talking about are actually compensated brass saddles. So uh, these have two different functions. Basically, people already do modifications to change uh, the material from steel or whatever this is. I don't even know. <laughs> With brass because it changes the tone. So they say. So today I'm installing these. These are Galdos. <laughs> whatever they are called. Um, they are brass saddles that are compensated. Now, what does the compensation here mean? I'll quickly demonstrate this by using our uh, guitar tuner in the amped plugins. This is actually a very good tuner because it's very unforgiving. It will give you the truth and it will show you that this guitar is impossible to intonate with these traditional types of bridge saddles. So, um, right now, my guitar is tuned to E and my E string is perfectly in tune. If I pick the 12th fret, I'm still perfectly in tune. Now the pro way to actually check intonation is to go beyond the 12th fret to let's say 17th and 19th. So let's check those. Pretty much. A little bit over. But like I said, our tuner is very unforgiving, so um, that's actually pretty impressive. You can't get there with most guitars many times. Now, that's not the problem. If that was the case for all of these strings, that would be perfect. I wouldn't even be making this video. But the fact is that we are actually sharing this saddle with the B string. And to have the E string perfectly intonated, we're likely not going to be having the B string intonated. So let's check the B intonation. B is in tune, a 12th fret. Nope. Almost. But how about the 19th and the 17th? Way out. And way out. This test is twofold. Let's see if I can get this guitar better intonated, but more importantly, I wouldn't really have a problem even with this situation that I'm having here. I just want to know how big of a tonal difference am I going to be getting with switching just these brass sounds. Okay, before I tell you what I thought, please comment down below what you thought you heard, or if you heard any difference at all, or which one you preferred. Um, based on what I heard personally, I actually did hear quite a big difference here acoustically in the room, switching between these saddles. Now, that many times does not at all reflect the end result you get from an electric guitar. However, I did feel and hear a difference in the sound and mainly I heard that these brass saddles actually had less treble not a lot but just a tiny bit less treble which automatically kind of pushes the mid-range forward and gives you more fatter mids and then I felt like these had 
sort of the sparkle presence area more of a sparkle up in the highs so um the end result really is that you get a very pleasant fat mid-range with these brass saddles when compared to whatever steel this is okay and as you probably noticed i'm shooting this the next day and during the night all i could think about is that i actually own two of these guitars and now that i actually have two of them one of them with the compensated brass saddles and one of them stock I can do a much better comparison of the intonation uh, obviously these being two different guitars and I've already modified this so that I can actually lift uh, the neck pickup and everything like that it's not so much a tone comparison as it is uh, of the real life context of how much better of an intonation are you actually getting because remember when I'm playing up here I'm many times gonna be pressing quite hard with my fingers and I will be out of tune because of other reasons. Okay, some final thoughts after playing these two side by side. Now this is completely stock default uh, from the factory setup for this guitar and it's pretty good actually. Um, I did find that I had to a little bit compensate with the A string when playing that kind of a uh, riffy bit of Mr. Brightside. Um, I think I had maybe two or three takes where I just redid it completely because I was so much out of tune I'm not sure maybe I should have kept that actually in but then again I could I felt like I could do a better job so um, that's the players fault in that instance but really when playing with those compensated saddles I felt like I didn't really have to even pay attention to that so it was much easier to do on that guitar and yes pay more attention to everything that the strings touch because that will be the most important thing in your electric guitar so First of all, that the string is vibrating correctly. If you are buzzing your strings, very likely they're not moving as much as they should be and you're losing low end. Then whatever the strings are actually leaning up against, so the bridge saddles are super important. Every single note that you're playing is leaning on those bridge saddles. So a slight thing like changing the material, like I showed here, actually influences your tone quite a bit. And then obviously the same thing on the other side, uh, the nuts when you're playing open notes, but more importantly your fret material is always going to be a part of the notes that you're playing on your guitar. So those things are very influential. For example on my Les Pauls I have stainless steel on some of them and it's much brighter of a guitar with those frets when compared to the regular frets that you get on a Les Paul. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. See you on the next one. I've been Miko from MO Sound Lab and bye bye.